Vibi is a contemporary British artist who uses collage and stencil techniques to be able to create unique pieces of work. This video will show you how to create a digital version. Go on to Safari and search up newspapers. Click on images and find an interesting newspaper background. When you find the one you want, press it down, hold on it and then add to photos. You'll need to collect a few of these, a few different types. Try to avoid anything that's particularly colourful or anything that has really large fonts as it might detract from the work. When you have several pieces, then go into Ibis Paint, click on My Gallery, and at the top, click on the plus button and select A4. Now you need to import all your newspaper as a background. Click on the layers with the number one, then click on the camera and choose your first piece of newspaper. Click on the green tick once you've resized it and you're happy with the position. Do not extract the line drawings so or press cancel and then do the same. Click on the camera again and choose your next piece of newspaper. Again, resize it by pinching the screen. When you're happy, click on the green tick. And again, don't click on extract the line drawing. Fill the whole white background with your collection of newspaper background. Next, go on to Safari and find a celebrity who you want to put on top of this newspaper background. I've gone for Billie Eilish. Scroll through and choose the best kind of image. Again, once you're happy with it, hold and press on the screen and then add to photos and it will automatically go into your camera roll. Go back into Ibis Paint, click on the layers icon and then click on the camera and then select your picture of Billie Eilish. Again, resize the screen so that it fits all over the newspaper and then this time we want to extract the line drawing and you can see then it goes black and white. Take the middle colours, um, tones down to zero and then move the slide bars of black and white until you're happy with how it looks. Once you're happy, click on the green tick. One of the features of VB's work is that she has butterflies um, collaged onto the celebrity image. So go into Safari and type in butterfly and you're looking for a butterfly which has got a transparent background. So it might be useful if you type in butterfly PNG. Choose a butterfly which you think might be appropriate. Once you've found one, click on it, hold down and again add to photos. And then it will go to your photo library. You might want to choose a few different styles of butterflies or just stick to the one. Once you've saved a few, go back into Ibis Paint, click on the layers icon down the bottom and again click on the camera and then choose your butterfly. I've already got one previously stored and I'm looking for that kind of um, transparent background. Once I'm happy with it, 
I'm going to reposition it and size it and then click on the green tick. I don't want to extract the line drawing this time. And then I'm going to go, I need to repeat this butterfly. So I'm then going to go back into my layers section and then click on the white plus icon and duplicate the layer. And you might want to duplicate this for however many butterflies you want. So maybe six or seven. And then I want to be able to move the different butterflies around. So I'm going to pick the transform tool and then move it wherever I want. If I click on the effect then and look for hue and saturation and then play around with the slide tools to choose and change the colour of your butterfly. When you're happy with it, then you can click on the green tick. I want to reposition my butterfly, so I'm going to click on the transform tool and then be able to pick it up. And then if you click on perspective, it will give you the boxes to be able to resize and spin the butterfly, when you're happy, you click on the green tick. So I want to be able to do this for all the different butterflies now I want to resize them. So again, click on the transform and perspective, move your butterflies around. And when you're happy with the positioning, click on the green tick. Then you can go back into filter and change the color then of hue and saturation. And so you want to play around with different size butterflies and the different positions that you can have. I do this for all the different layers, maybe potentially six or seven different butterflies. So I'm pretty happy with this as it is now then, so I'm going to click on the back button um, and I can save it or if I'd like to I can then maybe click on the layers and the merge down tool to be able to create them all as one locked picture. Click on the back tool and then save as PNG and then click on it again and go back to your gallery and then you can once you're in the gallery, click the export button and save image and then upload to Google Classroom.